Today we're talking about two popular filaments for 3D printing, PLA versus PETG. We're going to talk about the differences and do a comparison of PLA versus PETG. Choosing the right filament for your 3D printing projects can significantly impact the quality, durability, and functionality of your prints. Two popular filament options are PLA and PETG. Each filament has its unique characteristics and applications. And today we're going to talk about the differences between PLA and PETG filament for 3D printing. Let's first talk about PLA. It's a biodegradable thermoplastic derived from renewable resources like cornstarch or sugarcane. It is known for its ease of use, low printing temperature, and minimal warping, making it a popular choice for beginners. PLA is also available in a wide variety of colors and specialty options, such as silk or wood color, fluorescent, and of course the glow-in-the-dark filaments. Next, let's talk about PETG. It's a thermoplastic that combines the ease of printing of PLA with some of the durability and flexibility of ABS. It is known for its toughness, impact resistance, and ability to withstand higher temperatures. PETG is a more chemically resistant and UV resistant than PLA, which makes it suitable for outdoor applications and a lot more. One of the big differences between PLA and PETG is the temperature resistance. PLA has a lower glass transition temperature, typically around 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. This means it can soften and deform at relatively low temperatures, making it unsuitable for high temperature applications or parts that may be exposed to heat, such as a car dashboard or just automotive parts in general. PETG has a higher glass transition temperature, around 70 to 80 degrees Celsius, allowing it to withstand higher temperatures better than PLA. This makes PETG more suitable for parts that need to endure warmer environments. Next, a huge difference is their mechanical properties. PLA is hard and has a high degree of stiffness, which is great for parts requiring precision and rigidity. However, it is also more brittle, which can lead to cracking or breaking under stress. PETG is tougher and more flexible, providing better impact resistance. It is ideal for parts that need to flex or absorb shock, such as clips, springs, or outdoor items. PETG, it's a product that's going to flex instead of crack under pressure, making it more durable for functional parts. Next, let's talk about the ease of printing versus PLA versus PETG filament. PLA is generally easier to print with, requiring lower temperatures and less stringent printing conditions. It adheres well to the print bed and has minimal warping, making it suitable for beginners and those without an enclosed 3D printer. PETG can be more challenging to print due to its stickiness and tendency to string and ooze. It requires higher temperatures and careful tuning to avoid issues like nozzle accumulation and poor overhang performance. But despite these challenges, PETG provides excellent layer adhesion and fewer print failures when properly tuned. So let's talk about what type of prints you might use PLA for versus PETG. PLA is ideal for prototypes, decorative items, and parts that require high precision and a good surface finish. It is best suited for indoor applications and low stress parts. Whereas PETG is best for functional parts that need to withstand mechanical stress, impact, or higher temperatures. I'm thinking like automotive parts, outdoor applications, and parts that require flexibility and durability. So when it comes to color options with the filament, PLA has a lot more to offer. We have things like silk, tricolor wood, fluorescent, glow-in-the-dark filaments. So it's a lot cooler to look at, the prints. Whereas PTG also comes in various colors, the range of specialty options is a bit more limited compared to PLA. So to summarize this all up, both PLA and PETG have their unique advantages and are suited for different applications. PLA is easier to print with and offers a wider range of colors and specialty options, and it's ideal for indoor use and low stress parts. PETG provides superior toughness, impact resistance, and higher temperature tolerance, making it suitable for functional and high stress applications. So hopefully this helps give you an idea of what you need to be printing with as far as PLA versus PETG. They're both very popular. Hit me up in the comments if you guys have any other further questions. And again, I'll throw my top five filament brands in the description. They are my affiliate links. And also, guys, consider subscribing to the channel. 